parents and educators reacting to the news. The recently named Baltimore County Public Schools superintendent was denied the official job just two weeks after being voted in by the school board. WJC's Live, George Solis has details behind the announcement that some in the education community say they didn't see coming. George. Well, good evening, Vic. Well, despite some past controversy, Verlita White's appointment to the job full time seemed like a sure thing, especially even after having served as the interim superintendent for some time. But the big surprise to many, including the teachers' union, is the state superintendent's role in denying the promotion. WJZ with Verlita White one day after being officially named Baltimore County's public school superintendent. It's exciting, but it's also humbling. I'm just so grateful for all of the support that I've received. For nearly a year, White served as the interim superintendent following the investigation and eventual perjury conviction and sentencing of the former superintendent, Dallas Dance. Yet two weeks after being given the job, the state superintendent declining to make the move permanent. In a letter to the school board, the state's top education official citing school district spending and ethics violations, including that like Dallas Dan, she failed to disclose outside income from consulting work. She was not charged with the crime. The president of the Baltimore County Teachers Union says while they never took an official position on White's appointment to the job, there is concern over the state's decision to undo the official hire. He chose. They had a fair vote on it. There was lots of discussion. But once that was done, we were ready to move forward. President of the Teachers Association of Baltimore County, Abby Baton, says she fears the decision could set a precedent that could lead to instability in the school district. This puts everything up in the air again. Some parents just want an effective leader. It is good that whoever's in charge is someone that's reliable and that we can trust. Others standing by the state superintendent. She shouldn't have been put in a, into that position when there were still questions from an ethics perspective. In a letter of Alita White addressing all the concerns, writing in part she believes an audit should clear any doubt about district spending and that the allegations against her character are based on speculation and not fact. Now, in that letter, the state superintendent says she would support a second interim appointment of White or for someone new completely to take over. Live in Baltimore County tonight, George Solis reporting for WJZ. George, thank you. Governor Hogan's office released a statement about the decision. It says, in part, our administration supports efforts by the state and the county to ensure that citizens' concerns about ethics in the Baltimore County schools are addressed in the wake of recent scandals and criminal activity.